When we had last left Team Bald, they were roaming around the temple grounds, looking for good times, but maybe also bad times. It was there that they found a mysterious drunk man who nearly tricked them into, well, <laughs> who nearly convinced Team Bald to just hand over all their money. There was no trickery at all. It was just just really convincing, just past a really high speech or persuasion or whatever kind of check personality check, I don't know, charisma check, I guess, in this game, right? <laughs> I said I said all of them except for the relevant one. Uh, anyway, also, there was, like, a cool big statue and some weird singing, chanting people. Temple was fucking weird. <laughs> also, a bunch of vampire dogs just outside the temple. <laughs> What's going on? Anyway, <laughs> it was now time to continue looking around. This is Baldur's Gate, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's turn all this stuff back on. And also, let's do a quick rest here. There we are, we've leveled up and everything. We're all good to go. The one thing that I do wonder, for real, I've is why are there this. vampire dogs? Or vampire wolves, I guess. So close to the temple. Or maybe they're like attacking? I don't know. Sure is a lot of space around here. Alright. We'll just continue looking around all these places. Oh, we should probably click on this, right? What did we unlock? This thing? I guess so. Did, did I check the northernmost section as well? I'm not Oh shit, wild dog. Oh my god, there are so many. Alright. Have at the... Oh shit, the rain is coming no. back just as well. There we are. Man, Jahira got a little beat up by the wild dog. Alright. I think we're A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I am debating now having Jahira actually know, <laughs> like, off the top of her head, the ability to heal in the middle of combat. You know? It might be useful, rather than casting... Like, maybe Blessing would be pretty useful, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe we get rid of a, a Doom, get rid of an Entangle. Because I don't know how useful... Well... Receive a minus two penalty to AC. That is pretty good. Right, but it's so huge, right? The problem is that it affects so many people. Right, we used it, and it, it would affect even us. Yeah, fuck that. We're gonna use a light wound. Cure light wounds. There we go. And should we maybe get rid of a doom? Hmm. Yeah, because we maybe really only need one. Like, there may only be one target in combat that has a lot of heavy shit going on that we need to be wary of. You know? Alright. It makes sense to me. Let's rest again. I don't know. This may be a bad idea doing all this rapid resting, because maybe just like a million dogs are gonna spawn in and try and attack us. I don't know. Alright, what have I unlocked here? Dude, I have no idea. I guess it's this. This like unknown patch of land or whatever. Right? That's gotta be it. Huh. Alright, let's head on down. It's so odd to me that quick save in this game is Q by default. Is that how it used to be? Was that the, the common quick save button? Q? Such an odd key. Because all my life it's always been F5. But I would, I totally buy it having originally been Q. Right, Q for quick save. Oh, I oh. really not in this. There we go. We're getting them now. <laughs> Such intense music for a wolf battle. I love it. All right, what's this? Baragos to what the west. Need? Good to know. I've done had enough of this. Continue on down here. No fantastic loot from these wolves though. Can't even take their pelts. Oh shit! Hobo goblins. Could this be them? 
The hobo goblins that we do see? Look, these ones look big. Am I mistaken, or do these hobo goblins look totally fucking different from the others? At the very least, they're, like, armored up. Like, look at them. They're big as shit. Alright. Get them, team. We're doing great against them. Cool. <laughs> Alright, does anyone need a hat? Is everyone wearing a hat? I think everyone is wearing a hat. Let's see. Oh, Imowen, you are not wearing a hat. Oh, shit. Wait, can Imowen even wear one? And Dinner here is not wearing a hat either. These people may not be able to wear them, though. Yeah, thief and mage. No dice in the hat. All right. There we go. Take another lol gem. Cool. Okay. Huh, you're a queer. We I've done had enough of this. Once we're done this looking way. around. There we are. Good. Yeah, I think these may be the hobo goblins that we do seek. Also, someone wrote in with regards to Mirian? Marion? A while back? I didn't think it would come come up this this video, but hey, why not bring it up? Because, you know, we're not going back to town or where that person is. But we should have a note either on us or in our stash. Right? To where we should definitely... Oh, shit. Another... Oh, wait. This hobo goblin we can speak to. But anyway, we have a note that if we uh, have in our inventory when we speak with that person, we should activate like a quest alert or whatever. Wow, look at them all. Katak. Cat Ack. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> you no fight. You fight, you die. Give all gold and iron or you die. Tis simple choices. What I say or die. Die, die, die. <laughs> Are they working for... Well, no, they wouldn't be working for Mullahe or whatever, right? Because Mullahe was specifically... Like, the journal entry or whatever we found, the missive, specified kobolds. Maybe there's, like, some champion of the hobo goblins that's, like, telling them what to do and making them piss into jars and pouring it on iron or whatever. Let's see. We'll never surrender to you cut-rate marauders. We'll not fight you. In fact, we want to join your group. We want to join the hobo goblins. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. We don't want any trouble. Take what you want and leave us be. Eat shit. I'm not gonna surrender to you. Your hearts are brave. We rip them out and show you. Chill. Attack. <laughs> no, they're they're going to attack me with the What why did they say chill? <laughs> Alright. All right. Is that someone's name here? What you want? I've done chill? Had enough of this. Let's see, let's get the range team over here. Oh shit. Oh dear lord. Range team, run the fuck away, actually. And, and don't stop. There we go. For the fallen! Oh gosh, Jihiro, watch My the fuck out. Will cut you down to size. For right. Woo! Get away from that fool. <laughs> Look at this shit! Oh my gosh, we're hauling some major ass. Look, if we do a circular motion, maybe we'll be able to cut them off? Fuck, I don't think so. Alright. Let's shoot in a chromatic orb. There we go. Beautiful. Oh god. Dinner here. Get the fuck out of there. There we are. Good. Okay. Now we'll carve through them all. Very good. Just annihilating them. Look at this. Their body parts are like flying all over. They fly so far. <laughs> yep, this way. Okay. Good. We'll grab all this junk. Lovely. There we are. I care not. And let's see. You take this. And one gold. Good. I've done had okay. enough of this. Hey, look at that. You know, we d we discovered a fair amount of shit. Just as well. Alright, we should go down to this 
southerly area and see if there's a new little section of the world map that we can uncover, perhaps. This group shows promise. Exceptional. Exceptional. Oh, look. Ulcaster School. Oh. Okay. This way. Okay. Here's a question. We were trying to place Dinah Hairs. That's how you, that's how, this group needs how you actually say it, right? I thought. But we were trying to place her accent. Is Dinner Hairs accent Borat? Is, that, that can't be it, can it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going off of the exceptional. Is, is it meant to be like is Borat inspired by Baldur's Gate? No. No. <laughs> but are they cut of the same cloth? I don't know. I kind of can't unhear it now. Jesus. What a fucking curse. I can't I can't have that removed from a from my oh from my ears and mind via a temple. Who is this? Galileus. Hello. There is a wizard man out here. What say you, wizard lord? Knowledge used wisely is the most powerful of tools. God, you really are a wizard. 30 degrees latitude. Longitude varying greatly. Moons in conjunction with... Pardon my lack of focus, I. but I've been studying the skies for some time now. Now I've a positively wicked kink in my neck, and cannot seem to focus on anything closer than the horizon. Such are the pains of astrology, I suppose. Oh, okay. I see. Gal Galileus. Galileus. I have little time for such nonsense. And what have your observations revealed to you? Study on, I shall not distract your gaze. Yeah, what have, what have your observations revealed to you? Oh, I couldn't possibly tell you all that I see. There is so much raw data that must be interpreted and examined thrice over. It is a wonder that even I can assimilate all that information with no ill effects. Still, the long and the short of it reveals interesting times ahead. If I did not know better, I would say that the heavens themselves look on with interest. Conflicts of great significance are on the horizon. Oh, weird. Okay. I mean, also, that just seems like, you know, generic fortune teller scam shit. <laughs> right? I don't know. Okay. Let's carve out this swathe of whatever. Good. I wonder if it's worth it to, like, you know, all these strangers we find out here, if we had, like, a high pickpocket rating. Oh! Oh! Couple goblins. But to pickpocket them all and shit, you know? Listen to them talk. What are they even saying? They're, they're like, one of our more quiet enemies. Look, this one is no, running away in fear. In We're just gonna carve through these other ones, I guess. What are they saying? <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no! <laughs> Like cartoon villains or something. Good lord. Okay. Let's see. Let's suck up some arrows. May as well, right? Oh shit. Inventory. Full up already. Let's move this junk around. There we are. Cool. I wonder, is there a potion holder of some sort that we're going to come across? I feel like there will be, you know? If there's a scroll case, why wouldn't there be, like, a potion satchel or whatever? I'm gone. All right. Let's see. We've almost got all of it dealt with. That one hobo goblin has completely escaped our grasp. Good for him, I guess. <laughs> Maybe they went to the temple to change their ways. I don't know. Alright. It is wild that the temple is so nearly Go under attack by... Not only the hobo ice. goblins... Oh shit, Minsk. But... You know... The fucking vampire wolves. The fuck's going on with that? 
Here you go, Minsk. Take some healing. Shoo! Nature Actually, take some more, awaits. dude. Da -da 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 Look at him go. What a guy. Alright. Head on down here. Pass all these weird, like, camaraderie. Decrepit ass looking trees. Like, honestly, the area around the temple right looks move. grim as shit. Is this like an evil temple? Like, were they actually chanting, like, fucked up stuff in. Oh, shit, war dogs out the ass. My blade will cut you down to size. Alright. You know, now that I think about it, maybe we should have had Imowen use a blade. <laughs> it's literally in her. in her little dialogue shit, right? <laughs> Alright. I'm sure it's fine. There we go. Canonically, Imowen is going around You're like, queer. using all of her melee stab slashing ability. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything else? I guess Kadak was the hobo goblin we needed to take care of? Shit if I know, man. All right. Oh, look. Hey, you know what? Khalid got a level out of it. Probably worth it, then. All that we've been through. All right. Look, there's some sort of passage upwards. Hmm. Can we go up this? Yeah. Oh, no. It's not upwards. It's... It's just that this is, like, a weird... craggy mountain or whatever? I don't know. I, I can't really make sense of it. <laughs> don't stop, don't stop. Right. Yo, Minsk is kind of taking a fucking beating here. Right? There you go. Dude, my heal pops off so fucking quick. Compared to Jahira. Alright. Almost cleared out all of this. I wonder if, like, some of these weird random encounters we find out here, if they're gonna crop up later. A man oh. shouldn't speak to his better unless spoken to first. Oh my god, it's some kind of asshole. Not to be rude, but will you stand a bit back from me? By all the cards, I shall be glad to be back in Waterdeep, come the ten day. Was your trip business or pleasure? What do you find so displeasing about the Sword Coast? I care not for your whining. Go where, where you will, but get out of my way first and foremost. You're from Water Deep. I should like to visit that great city someday. Yeah, what's your fucking beef? What do you find so displeasing about the Sword Coast? What do I not find displeasing? Aesthetically, the air is absolutely thick with manual labor. If this is what the land is like with most of the miners out of work, I could not imagine it in full swing. I simply must get out of here. If not for the bandits, I would be on the first caravan out of town. Curse this merchant's trade. Father must wish me dead to inflict this upon me. Away from me. I need my air. Okay. Oh shit. Camera just whooshed over. This dude I've just fucking disappear behind a tree. <laughs> Cool. Alright. Weird. What was this dude doing out here? Kinda in the middle of nowhere just as well. Or is this a path? Are we looking at a path? It's hard to say. No. It looks too... way too random. Like, this is a path. Right? Yeah. Okay. Speaking of paths, let's take one out of this area entirely. Oh, also let's level up Khalid. There we are. Just a standard level, no points to invest. Good stuff. I've done had enough of this. Okay, should we go to this like tr school or hmm or maybe this thing, right? What is this? I don't know. I kind of want to go to the school though. Yeah, let's see what's there. It's got a name. Ooh. Is this like a fucked up evil school though? I've done had enough of this. Look, this looks the air or whatever is very ominous. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is like a fucked up place. Jesus. 
Looks like we're in fucking Fallout now. Okay. I guess it's so barren up there because, yeah, we are entering, like, some kind of weird desert area. Right? Especially given, like, how to the south the Null Stronghold in the cinematic looked very, like, desert biome. Oh! Furret! Who is this? Some little gremlin man. They're not even wanting to speak with me. Hello? You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Wayfarers, wait up a moment. I wish to have a word with you. You're adventurers, are you not? Yes, we're adventurers. Why should you care? That's good then. You see, I'm an adventurer of sorts. Of course, I'm not very fond of battle. I like to pilfer objects from ruins and monstrous lairs. <laughs> and, <laughs> and monstrous lairs. <laughs> and. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and try my best to avoid getting hurt. Anyway, I have something that might interest you. I have a gem in my possession. A magical gem. I have no use for it, and I can't get the price I'm looking for from anyone I've met. Would you perhaps be interested? Uh, perhaps you could tell us what the gem does? Of course! It's a gem of true seeing. It'll... Oh my god! What the fuck? The fucking music. This is... The music, honestly, is making me not trust this guy. This is some, like, sinister fucking music as this guy's trying to sell me a 1,000 gold gem. For all I know, it's gonna be a fucking lol gem that does fucking nothing. Of course, it's a gem of true seeing. It allows you to see the truth in all things. So do you want it? I'm selling it for a thousand gold. No more, no less. Uh, and I guess when we when we get it, we'll be like, Wait, this was a scam. And we'll be like, yes, you saw it. The gem helped you see the truth that you were scammed. <laughs> How about selling it for less than a thousand? I can't sell such a gem for less than one thousand gold. the fuck? I'm not gonna buy some weird- what? What a world! What would I even do with all that shit? I can't, like, use it to kill... goblins? <laughs> I'm not buying it. I can't afford it. I guess this is goodbye. Too bad you couldn't see the obvious value of this gem. I guess I'll be on my way. Fuck you. I'm gonna try and pickpocket you. I'm gone. Get him, Imwin. Imwin, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Imwin, where were you going? Oh shit, Skeletal dudes. Go, go, go. Dude, I feel like we did the right thing. That guy seems sinister as shit. Oh shit, look. My fucking... <gasps> my sword, my long... My, like, two-handed sword broke. Oh, no wonder I'm, like, taking forever to kill shit. Oh, I'm fucked up, dude. I'm fucked up as hell. Alright. That's fine. We can take him. Oh shit, there's like an entire... fucking oh, army I of them. Really not in this. Jesus. Let's see. Protection from evil. There we go. Shahira. Use your doom upon... I don't fucking know. Use, bless someone. <laughs> bless Minsk. There we go. Good. And then, honestly, bless me too. Oh. Why not? And then... Hmm. Yeah, put some more doom out there, huh? Doom. There we go. Good. Okay. And then... Oh, I guess we're fine. Okay. What you want? Like our range don't even know what to do. Blasting through skeletal dudes so much. Yep. Holy shit. Okay. Do we only have- uh. Oh shit! Cobalt 
Super Commando. Dude, there's no way that dude, that guy was like telling the truth about this fucking gem. There's no way. We already know that people in this game are just gonna try and fucking scam us, right? Would be proud of your actions. <laughs> Tell me. Oh look, some sort of amazing arrow out here as well. This okay. way. Okay. Let's see. Actually, is Imowen our only arrow user? Yeah. I mean, unless we want like one of our melee folks to alternate I've done had melee. enough of this. Or to ranged, I should say. There we are. Good. I care not. This okay. way. Over here, which honestly, it's unfortunate because bullets are definitely oh, right. Right. Ooh, Go fairly for rare. Jesus. All right. Look, they're kind of really spread out here. My blade will cut you down to size. Yeah, the cobalts and shit are just all over the place, aren't they? Huh. All right. I'll take it, though. It's good for us. All right. Let's move these things around. Do a quick save as well. This way. Man, what's out here? What a strange area. Should we rest up? Hmm. I think so. Sounds fucking dangerous as hell. Okay. Oh shit, look. Some sort of obelisk or just a peculiar peculiarly shaped rock? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I can't tell if this has been like crafted by by the hands of some beast or man. Or if it's just how the rocks look here. I think it's just how the rocks look here, right? Okay, and look. Oh, I can go up this. For real? Let's do a quick save. Look at this little tiny cool path. Oh shit, and it is cobblestone too. Is this the school? Oh my gosh, I think it is. Look at this. What is this shit? Is this like an old- Oh shit, this isn't like an old oh, fucked up school oh, where fucked up shit would go on. Alright. Alright. Okay. Dude, is dinner here voiced by Jennifer I've Hale? Had enough of this. It kind of sounds like it. Good lord. That'd be wild. It had to be one of her first, like, major gigs. Oh, shit! It's a spectral dude! Oh my god, look at this person! They look like a fucking holographic trading card. Whoa, fuck yeah, we got the foil. <laughs> oh my god, I'll trade my foil Olcaster for your set of candle keep heroes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the best of schools. What the fuck? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Do we have like a this quest way. for this later? Pickpocket failed. What you want? I done weird, had enough dude. of this. All right. Well, you know what? When next we come back, we'll continue looking around Oldcaster. I don't know if we should though. Can we like accidentally come across places that are in the in the main quest line and all that and like clear them out accidentally? Can that happen? I feel like that that could totally happen. I don't know. Maybe we should just stick to exactly what quests are telling us to do. I have no idea. I, I my heart wants to adventure around just willy nilly. Look, see dungeon entrance. What the fuck is this? What a strange place. All right. Well, let's do a little bit of reading. If you'd like Give to stick around, straight. we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. What, what what should we read this time? Well, how about... Shit, I don't even know. How about one of these ones that are like a one-off? History of the Kalimshan. Seems good. Oh, wait. 
Let's make sure we're paused. That way we don't, like, get struck by lightning. History of the Kalimshan. Kalimshan is older than either of the other empires of the Sands. First settled over 7,000 years ago by the Jen, a humanoid race from the elemental plane of air. These Jen were known to be very magical, and during the course of their rule, they developed many new spells previously not available in the plane of air. The Jen prospered for over 1,000 years in Kalimshan, but their reign was ended by an invasion of creatures and minions from the plane of fire. Right, it's always the fucking Fire Nation attacking. Some say this is where the bitter hatred between Jin and Ifrit started. Though others contend this was just a result of a hatred that was already there. Whatever the cause, the battle was long and bloody, and took over 100 years to complete. The Jin finally routed the attackers, but were greatly weakened in the attempt. They slowly declined, and the last mention of the Jin is just under 6,000 years old. For the next 4,000 years, Kalimshan was dominated by nomadic tribes of humans. Tribes from various places. Cholt, the Shar, the Shining Plains, Chandath, even Amn and Kormir, took turns dominating, only to be conquered by the next nearly identical tribe. Slowly, the nomadic nature of Kalimshan began to change as explorers and traders from Am, Waterdeep, and Kormir discovered the wonders of the area, some tribes began to settle down and develop new means of support, like fishing, farming, or trading. These communities began to band together for mutual protection, and soon a civilization was born. It was only 1,300 years ago that the Shun Empire, now called Iltkazar, came into being. The Shuns were a grand and glorious empire, and their excesses were the foundation of Kalishite snobbery today. Jeez, okay. <laughs> they grew wise and powerful in the ways of magic, and ships and caravans bearing the Shun flag traveled across the realms. Shun himself, a particularly powerful mage, create a, created a book of power during this time called the Tome of the Unicorn. Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. Isn't that one of the things that we got from What's-Their-Butt earlier as a reward? Or maybe it was a study on, like, the Tome of the Unicorn or something. There's something to do with a unicorn. The exact location of the Tome has been lost in time, but since the book is... Wait. That's feet, right? Two feet? Two feet by three feet, and made of pure metal, it is likely to still be around. Somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's definitely not the book that we got then. We got something like a study on it or whatever. 900 years ago, the Shun Empire abruptly vanished. A great magical upheaval was suspected at first, but learned mages of other lands dispute the claim. A force that great, they say, would have disturbed magical powers and beings throughout the realms, and that didn't happen. The sages who have studied the Shun at great length have reached no def definite conclusions, but the most popular theories today center around a plague or disease that decimated the population. Today, the Shun impact on Kalimshan is still great. The grandeur of that empire is responsible, more than anything else, for the strong national character of Kalimshan today, the ruins of the Shun's greatest city. Monrativi Teshimir can still be found in the wilderness, to the west of the edge of the Forest of Mir. See below for more on Monrativi Teshimir. Since the fall of Shun, no force or people has risen to solely dominate the land. There are a half dozen or so major cities, each of which exerts its power over its own area. About 170 years ago, a man in Kalimport amassed a large army and declared himself Pasha over the land. Before that army could march, however, the representatives of each major city met and agreed to recognize the Pasha's authority in limited areas, 
and to pay a small tribute to him, enough to pay for the works the Pasha was expected to do. The oldest son of each Pasha inherits the title. If there is no son, the mayors of each large city select a new one. The current Pasha, Rashid Jenispool, has ruled for over 18 years and is the grandson of a Pasha elected by the mayors of Kalimshan 44 years ago. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Huh. What was this editorialization earlier, though? Them saying, like, yeah. It was the foundation of today, of their the snobbery that they have today? What? Alright. Clearly written from some particular perspective, right? But whose? I don't know. Maybe someone who lives in this area? Jesus, this music is so sinister. Speaking of Fallout, it does sound like some ambient Fallout music, right? Like old classic Fallout music. The eras totally match up just as well. Ah, oh. night time. Good for sneaking up on evil. Oh. And, well, as Minsk said so succinctly, when next we come back, we will probably be sneaking up on some evil in this night time, right? There's a ghost around here. There's a dungeon to go into, perhaps. Though maybe we shouldn't, I don't know. Until next time, please take care of each other.